I cannot offer any better guidance than the CDC or your local health officials or, frankly, any of the health authorities around the world that are doing all they can to reduce the risk of the spread of this SARS-CoV-2, which is the official name of the virus that causes uh, the COVID-19 disease. However, as a microbiologist, I can't explain why are they recommending that we do these things? Why are they talking about hand washing? Why are they talking about staying six feet away from each other? And so let's start with the hands. The hands are how we communicate, how we interact with the world, and they also happen to be a very uh, easy way to transmit uh, this virus. And why is that? Because our hands actually contain thousands of skin flakes, and every time we touch a surface, some of those skin flakes are left behind. And these viral particles ride around these skin flakes like a magic carpet ride. And so they uber on a doorknob. They uber from our hands. And then our hands touch our face, all over our face, all the time. Very difficult to not touch your face. And so those particles are essentially what carry that virus from one person to the next, even without direct contact. But let's talk about direct contact as well. So... Where's this idea where the CDC says we got to be six feet away from each other? Where are they coming up with that? Well, what you don't understand because these viral particles are so small, one millionth of an inch, that's how big each virus is. You can have thousands or millions of these viral particles in one little particle of saliva or spit. And as we talk, sing, sneeze, cough, many of these particles come out of our mouth. And if we're standing very close to somebody and they are infected, indeed, we are swapping spit. I hate to say it that way, but that's the way it is. And that's the way the virus gets directly transmitted from one person to the next. And so we got to think about that and talk about distancing ourselves, okay? Um, and not being in direct contact with folks that are infected and being aware that that's how this disease can be transmitted. The other thing we can be aware of is there are alternatives. We don't need to all just be totally isolated from each other. That's not healthy as either. Uh, and for, particularly for the elderly, we've got to take care of them, but that doesn't mean shutting them in a room and not letting them have any contact. And so fortunately, we all live in a digital world, a world that allows us to communicate in some other ways, not as perfect as human interaction, but we can get real close with things like video, audio, picking up the phone, texting, or emailing. Thank you.